If you smoke, use an oversized stroller, which I know you had to do with triplets, yes. <laughs> or are fond of taking loose ice to Disney World with you, there are changes that you need to know about. Eyewitness News anchor Marty Salt is here now to explain the new rules just announced today that are going into effect on all Disney properties. These changes begin May 1st and affect every property, including Disney World Resorts, ESPN's Wide World of Sports, the water parks and hotels, both here and in California. The biggest change, no more smoking or vaping inside the parks. Smoking will only be permitted in designated areas outside the entrances to parks and hotels. Katina Daniels from North Carolina is a smoker herself and agrees with the policy. Me being a smoker, I would still say it should be smoke free because it's more for children to enjoy, also for adults as well. This Minneapolis tourist thinks so too. I think that's awesome. There shouldn't be smoking around anyone. I have asthma. I don't like it. Other rules going into effect, large oversized strollers and wagons measuring more than 31 inches wide and 52 inches long. Disney says actually this is not much of an adjustment for most families because the measurements include most strollers used now. This visitor from Chicago believes this change is a good idea as well. Also visiting Disney you know, just yesterday, um, you know, strollers are, are, are a challenge um, to navigate through, and, and um, I think a smaller size certainly makes sense. Finally, ice packs okay, carrying around loose ice cubes or dry ice, not. For anyone concerned about their stroller not fitting the standard, rentals will be available. Again, the new policy is going to affect May 1st. We have more details on both of the upcoming changes on WFTV.com. Just look for the story under web links.